hi friends welcome back to live tutorial with laravel 8 so we have discussed about how to install liveware into your laravel application and what is the components what is the property so last day we have discussed about property binding with a from element so there is a drawback inside the property binding so basically property binding consumes more resource okay so basically this is one of the most drawback but we can overcome this with the property debouncing and lazy updating okay so today's topic is what is property debouncing and what is lazy bounding and how to do it with the library okay so very simple i will create a component and i will first show you what is the drawback and how to overcome this okay so let's start so just write the php artisan make library so, so i will going to create a component so my component name is suppose the comments okay so just enter this so here we can see the two files created that is one class file and one the view file so just go to the app http and the library we have the comments.php so basically this is the class file and if you go to the resource inside the views we have the library folder and we can get the comments plate okay so here i will create a comment section so basically this is the text area so just write comments so this is basically this is the label and use peer so basically i want to display the comment text box into the next line so write text area and close the text area okay so now we need to create a property inside the comment class so here write uh, public and dollar comments okay and here just write where model so here write where model and write the property name so basically this is the comments okay i will use the beer and to display the output we'll use the hr tag so here we'll write comments colon so to see the output so just write the comments okay so now let's call this blade from this class file so basically this is by default it's calling and we need to call these comments from the routes so here we can see inside the routes we have web.php so first use app http library and the name of the class that is comments and here we'll create a url that is route i'm using the get request so right here get and slash comments okay so i'm using the small c here and the comma the class name and colon colon class okay so route is set so now start the server so write php artisan serve okay so server running successfully so now if we go to this link we can see the output okay so basically this is the comment section so this is my comment okay so we can see the output so basically this is the property binding but here the drawback is when we type these things so i'm just going to inspect the element so just go to the network and suppose here i want to see in the right side so just clear all these things so now we can see if we are going to add something suppose here i'm writing this is my comments okay so here you can see every time when i am typing anything the functions is calling so you can see the 17 time the function is calling so just write another things so i am writing some things so it's 
more than 23 that is 24 request okay so this is consuming very much resources and this will be the reason of slowness of your application okay so how we can overcome from this so we have a two option that is the property debouncing and we have another option that is the lazy updating okay so step by step i am going to show you so how can you use the debouncing first so very simple just go to the project directory and inside the blade file so here i am using the simple wire model so now just write the dot debounce okay and we can provide the delay okay so by default library provides 150 millisecond so basically this is the default and now we can override with our own delay time so here i am writing 1000 millisecond so basically 1000 millisecond means the one second okay so just go to the browser and refresh this so here just write this is my comment okay so here the one request is sent to the server okay so just write dot here and you can see the after one second it's calling okay so if we change into the 2000 millisecond that means two second so just write here any text so here you can see this function will call up to the two second of typing okay so in this way we can restrict the resource calling okay so whenever we will need we can use these things and the another option is the lazy updating so this is also another option to reduce the resource okay so just write write the debounce here and here we will write simple lazy okay so basically this is the blur event so go to the browser just refresh this and if you type anything suppose this is something okay so it will not call the server now it will call if we click on the outside of this text area okay this is the blur event so if i click on the outside so just click and it's calling okay so very simple we can restrict in this two way so this is all about live word debouncing and lazy updating if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section so next day we will going to learn about live or actions so we will learn how to pass action parameter what is event modifier and some magic functions so this will going to be a very interesting okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video